Fair brings out the ugliest side of humanity, violence, destruction, bloodshed, and a new exhibit at the Kennedy Center shines a light on the difficulties faced by veterans once they return home. The gallery is called The Reach and is painted by former President George W. Bush. Correspondent Munira al Hamoud has more. The invisible wounds of America's never-ending wars are on display in the nation's capital. Former President George W. Bush started painting as a post-presidency pastime. His art commemorates some of the veterans he has met since leaving office in 2009. President Bush's portraits of courage reflect the human toll of his decision to send American troops to war. Featured in the Kennedy Center's new edition, The Reach, the exhibit is dedicated to U.S. service members deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan after the 9-11 terror attacks. After former U.S. Army Surgeon DeWitt Osborne was injured in a bomb blast in Iraq in 2006, he spent years recovering at the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. And the U.S. veteran became a centerpiece of one of President Bush's artworks. I mean, it's just an amazing honor for him to, to paint my picture uh, for me, for my family. Um, it's going to be forever linked to the presidential library. And my grandkids one day will be able to go see a picture that the president painted of me. So it's an amazing honor for me. The exhibit highlights health challenges facing veterans, post-traumatic stress, brain and physical injuries, as well as the hardship of transitioning into civilian life. For some of the veterans we spoke to during opening night, recovery is an everyday process. Uh, I think I was searching for purpose and meaning after I'd left the military. Uh, and, uh, you know, President Bush gets to know us a little bit. And I think he saw that in me a little bit, you know, maybe some stress and, uh, and some things I was going through. And I, I think it reflects in the portrait for me. Command Sergeant Major Brian Flom was wounded in the face by a rocket attack in Iraq in 2007. He is still active duty in the Army and hopes the exhibit will help merge two worlds. If, if our veterans and, and the civilian society would just take time to get to know each other more um, and just and just talk. And I think how, you know, how each other can help will, will sort itself out um, from just from conversation. While a recent Pew report found that most veterans think the Iraq and Afghanistan wars were not worth fighting, what is most palpable is the honor these men and women feel to be painted by President Bush. Some of them routinely bike ride with 43 on his ranch in Texas. Others say he always picks up the phone whenever they feel like talking. Munir Al-Hamoud, I-24 News, Washington.